Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Hey, today's video is going to be a little different. Um, this is just a quick intro to a vlog video about my experience with getting a Fraxel uh, laser treatment on my face. Um, I got the treatment done a week ago yesterday and I have all this vlogging footage that I took and I just wanted to put it out there for you guys. Um, this isn't like the full my results and my experience with it and why I got it and what it's supposed to do video. So there's a lot of information missing here, um, but I will provide that information in an upcoming video just so you know. So don't bombard, it, bombard me with questions about it um, because I would like to address those in a video. So here we go, on to the vlogging. Hey you guys, I'm here at the doctor's office now. I'm all checked in and I am prepped and ready for my appointment. Um, the nurse came in, she went over the procedure with me. We put on this lovely blue hat, which is just to keep the numbing gel out of my hair. And um, so she put the numbing gel on my face. As you can see, it's on there, all kind of goopy and everything. And um, now I just have to wait an hour and then the doctor will come in and we'll start the procedure. So hopefully she'll let me record during it and uh, I'll give you guys a first-hand look at what getting a Frexel dual treatment is like. Here's what the machine looks like. All right, I'm done. Look at my face, it looks so weird. It's starting to swell. I don't think I'm like too terribly red, which I'm surprised at. She basically did my whole entire face. And then when she was finished, she rubbed uh, vitamin C serum into my skin. It's supposed to take two days off the healing. So that's it. It didn't really hurt that much. So I'm in my car. I'm about to go home. They gave me ice. I've been icing for about 10 minutes. I'm starting to get quite a bit of redness and swelling. My face feels like I have a sunburn. It feels hot and pulsy, you know, how like when you're getting an, a, like an infection and you can feel that pulsing. And it does feel hot to the touch on the surface. Hey! <laughs> It's Lobster Girl. Um, it's about 4.30. My treatment was from about 2.15 to about 2.45. I'll tell you what it felt like while it's still fresh in my mind. This felt more like what I would imagine microneedling feels like. So it has a very small head that runs over your skin and in each pass it feels like tiny little pinpricks. I had the numbing cream on for a full hour before we started and so it didn't really hurt that much. I was so surprised. I had so much more pain with the IPL than I did with this. This was literally like a piece of cake. With each pass, it becomes more and more uncomfortable, but I wouldn't say it was ever the kind of pain where I was like <sighs> grimacing or, <gasps> or, you know, anticipating and like, <clears throat> you know, jumping every time because it's more of like a rolling, like continual prickly sensation. Aside from the numbing cream, they do have the uh, cooling air head that goes along with the laser so that it's blowing cool air at the same time. So that cools your skin and keeps everything nice and comfortable as well. She kind of did like a cross hatch kind of thing where on the cheek she would do a bunch of passes up and then she would do a cross. I think she said she did four to five passes in each area but by the time you got the cross hatching and everything it adds up to like eight or nine passes. She actually did a couple of passes uh, underneath each eyebrow. She didn't go down onto the actual lids, but she said that will help to lift my eyes a little bit. She did a few passes underneath my eyes, uh, really tight and close, and she got in really close up here. You can you can actually see it's almost like I was wearing goggles, which I wasn't. She said that laser, you don't have to wear the eye goggles, and then she gave me ice to ice it, and I'm supposed to be icing it 15 minutes on and 15 minutes off for the rest of the evening. I can tell that already some of the brown sp spots are already darkened up and they're already feeling a little crusty. And the way it feels now is just like a sunburn. It just feels a little bit hot, a little burny, a little stingy. Um, it feels tight. So for tonight, I will just wash my face. They recommend using the vitamin C serum again, so I'll put on the vitamin C serum. I will not use Retin-A for two weeks. The other recommendations were to sleep with the head elevated so that the uh, swelling can come down. I'm back. It's 24 hours post-procedure and um, it has been a very comfortable day. I didn't really leave the house too much. I stayed in. I've slathered on moisturizer. I've slathered on sunscreen. Um, there is no more of a burning sensation today at all from when I woke up. Uh, the swelling has really gone down quite a lot 
and it just feels dry and tight today. Tonight I'm staying in, I'm having some girlfriends over for some wine because of course they're curious about what I had done and uh, I think the the lines up here are the funniest part that I have like a uh, she really knows how to draw a nice straight line, my dermatologist. <laughs> it looks like I've been frolicking on one of those beautiful black sand beaches with the super, size, super fine black sand, and I have black sand all over my face. There's not too much sloughing going on right yet. Um, there's not too much skin coming off. So um, let me give you a look at what it looks like close up. Good morning. It's the second day post-procedure. It looks like my skin is getting darker instead of looking quite as red and lobstery. Now I am turning more brown and bronzy, definitely. I feel like today most of the swelling is completely gone um, and it's just now more of the dis discolorations that I'm seeing. It is it has gone from like the stinging burning feeling to a super dry tight feeling. It is soaking up the moisturizers like you can't believe. Like I put on moisturizer three times already and it just sucks it right in and I put on like twice as much so it's really very very thirsty. I could potentially put on makeup and go out. All right now I'm 72 hours post procedure day three. Oh my gosh major league peeling. On the first two days they were like you could put makeup on and go out in public. The third day you would not be able to go out in public. It's crazy how much it's peeling but it's making me so happy because I can already see the nice like pink new skin uh, underneath there that all this brown yucky skin is sloughing off. So again, no pain, no burning, um, a little bit of itching, very minor. It does still feel <clears throat> slightly dry and tight, but not as dry and tight as it did yesterday and the day before. So each day it's feeling progressively better. Hopefully by tomorrow most of this will be off. I'm not leaving the house today. Mm. Definitely. You aren't either? Okay, good. Um, that makes two of us. So let me do the close-ups. Here we are, fourth day post-treatment. I am so glad that yesterday is over with. Today is much better and I'm hoping that by tomorrow this will be majorly off and I can go back out into the world and re-emerge from my uh, little cocoon. Day five post-procedure. Well, I am so happy today because uh, all that sloughing is pretty much gone. There's just a couple of little spots that no one can really see unless they're looking at me super up close and that I could easily cover up with makeup. Today my skin feels very much back to normal, but it does still feel a little bit dry. You know, it's only day five, so I'm sure there's still a lot of changes that my skin is going to go through. All right, so that was it for the video for today, everybody. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you uh, in the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.